Hello and happy Tuesday everyone. Mike here coming from the pit at Celebrate HQ. I uh, wanted to make a video today about an issue that um, we hear uh, surfacing from time to time. Uh, and uh, it occurs particularly around UPCs, um, but potentially anything that you edit in CSV um, using the product CSV or even the inventory CSV uh, and bulk editing your data. Um, so to jump into this issue and point it out, I'm going to go into my settings, uh, my export data page. I'm going to play with our product CSV because I particularly want to talk about UPCs uh, and the impact on them today uh, and go ahead and export my products uh, and wait for that export to generate. Okay, now that my file uh, export has generated, uh, I've opened the product CSV template and I can see all my product data. Um, the issue that I want to call attention to is, again, regarding UPCs. And if you see uh, my UPCs here, you can see that they open up in scientific notation or scientific format. Uh, and that means that uh, Excel or really any spreadsheet software has condensed that value down to um, uh, the format that's simplest for them to read. So that would be scientific notation, and that makes it look like this 9.765E plus 11. Um, which is just a fancy way of shortening a 12-digit number. Um, this has potential down, uh, downside and uh, ramifications uh, if not uh, addressed or corrected. Uh, and the issue is that if I am editing something that's not my UPCs, say for example I just want to edit some categories or some, some pricing or descriptions or really anything, and then I go and save this file, um, Excel or any spreadsheet software will save the scientific format as text, which means that instead of having my 12-digit UPC, which you can see here, it's actually going to save it with this plus sign and this plus 11 at the end. And if I then go and import this file back into Cellbrite, we're going to import that E plus 11 value as our UPC, which is obviously problematic and obviously something that we don't want. Um, so there's a couple of things that you can do to address this. First of all, if you are actually editing your UPCs, um, I recommend reformatting this column. Uh, and this also goes for EANs, ISBNs, GTINs, you know, really any value that's numerical. Um, but if you highlight the column, and then up here you can either convert it to a number, where you're going to have this decimal uh, as a result at the end, or you can even go to more number formats, custom, zero. And that'll actually um, make it a full number, uh, and then you can edit those UPCs. Um, if you're not editing the UPCs, a really simple trick to save yourself potential hassle is to just delete the column. So you can delete, I'm just going to delete all of these product ID columns, um, and I can delete anything that I'm not editing. So if I just wanted to come in and edit some product names or some descriptions, what we highly recommend doing is deleting all the rest of your columns. So I'm just going to highlight these columns, and I'm going to clear the contents of them. I'm actually going to delete them for safe measure um, and uh, go and just delete all the rest of them. So I have literally now deleted everything but SKU, parent SKU, and name. Uh, and in this case, if all I wanted to edit was product names, that's totally fine. In fact, if you're, again, if there is a column that you're not editing, we highly recommend just deleting it out of the file um, and saving the file without it. And that'll do two things. One, it'll prevent you from mistakenly updating data that you didn't intend to change. Um, and uh, you know sometimes things can happen when you're working with a spreadsheet where you accidentally enter a key that you didn't realize. Um, and so it, it eliminates that risk. And then number two, it will actually shrink the size of the file. So what that does is it makes it easier for Cellbrite to process. It makes it import faster. Um, so you know uh, definitely a benefit there. Um, and then all you need to do is save the file go back into Cellbrite, re-import that data, uh, and your changes will go live. So um, just something to look out there, look out for there with UPCs um, and really any other data point. If you have any other questions about working with CSV, uh, don't hesitate to email uh, your success manager or uh, email us at support at Cellbrite.com, and we'll get back to you promptly. Thanks.